Hi friends, I am Amol Shinde. Welcome to my channel. This is me. I initiated a new series called Prelim Special in which I will be dealing with each and every topic of prelims that is complete prelims preparation. Along with every topic, topic wise questions will be held. I will be offering free test papers from various reputed institutions as well and also providing the rocking logic that is tricks for which my channel is famous. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the lectures. This is the second part of President of India. Our constitution offers some powers and functions to the President of India. These powers are executive powers, legislative, financial powers, judicial powers, diplomatic, military, as well as emergency powers. Let's see first executive powers. All the executive actions of the government of India are formally taken in the name of president. As he is the executive head of the government, executive actions are performed on the name of the president of India. He can make rules specifying the manner in which the orders and other instruments made and executed in his or her name shall be authenticated. He makes some rules in which the orders and instruments made and executed in his or her name shall be authenticated. He appoints. He appoints Prime Minister. He appoints other minister, Chief Justice of India, Judges of Supreme Court, Judges of High Court. Okay, so consider these three jointly and then Attorney General of India, Comptroller and Auditorial General, Chairman and Members of UPSC, Chief Election Commissioner, other members of Election Commission, Governor of State and Members of Finance Commission. So he appoints all these members. The next, he can seek the information relating to the administration of affairs of the Union and proposals of the legislation from PM. Administration of affairs of the Union, about the administrations of the affairs of Union and proposals of legislation from Prime Minister. Then legislative powers. He vested with some legislative powers like summon or prorogue the parliament and dissolve the Lok Sabha. But he can dissolve the Lok Sabha only on advice of the Council of Ministers or we can say that the Prime Minister. But he can summon or prorogue the parliament. Summon matlab bulana, prorogue matlab stagid karna. Summon joint sitting of both the houses of the parliament which is headed by the speaker of Lok Sabha. Okay. When he summon the parliament, both the houses of the parliament together, the joint sitting, then it is headed by Lok Sabha's speaker. He addressed the parliament in first session first session of general election and first session of each year important first session of general election and first session of each year Lok Sabha speaker or deputy speaker if the seat remains vacant then he appoint any Lok Sabha member as a speaker of the Lok Sabha for temporary period then Rajya Sabha chairman or deputy chairman sit vacant, he does the same. He elect any Rajya Sabha member as the Rajya Sabha's chairman or deputy chairman. He nominates 12 members in Rajya Sabha, having the special knowledge of literature or science, art and social service. Okay, so he can nominate such 12 members having the knowledge of this literature, science, art and social service. Two members of Anglo-Indian community in the Lok Sabha. 
Okay, he can nominate two members of Anglo Indian community in the Lok Sabha. Here, twelve members in Rajya Sabha and two members in Lok Sabha. That is Anglo Indian. Okay. He decide on the question of disqualification of the members of the parliament with consultation with the election commission. And he decide these questions with the election commission. Okay. There are some bills which requires the prior recommendation or permission of the president of India before introducing to the parliament. That is, money bill and creation or recreation of the new state bill. requires the prior recommendation of the president of india once the bill sent to the president of india which is already passed by both the houses then president can give assent to the bill can withhold his assent to the bill can return the bill if it is not money bill okay money bill cannot be returned for the consideration and if the bill is passed again with or without the amendment the president bound to assent the bill he is bound to assent the bill important he can promulgate the ordinance when the parliament is not in session and it should pass by the parliament within 6 weeks of its reassembly when parliament started their sessions and they reassemble the parliament have to pass that bill within 6 weeks otherwise it will be automatically seized he can withdraw the ordinance at any time power from article 123 he lays the report of finance commission cag and upsc Okay, he is he lays the report of Finance Commission, Comptroller and Auditor of General India, and Union Public Service Commission. The pardoning powers of the President are given in the Article seventy two. Pardon, commutation, remission, respite, and reprieve. What are the meaning of these five pardoning powers? First. pardon pardon means remove both sentence and conviction it means that complete absolution okay you need to remember this word complete here complete absolution commutation commutation is the change in nature of imprisonment for example the death imprisonment was given to a member then it is changed into rigorous imprisonment it means that the change in the nature of the imprisonment death to rigorous imprisonment remission remission is the reduction in the punishment without changing in its nature for example 6 year rigorous imprisonment curtailed to 5 years or reduced to 5 years but it still but it is still a rigorous imprisonment that is remission despite despite means when there is a special fact for example relief in the form of lesser punishment you can give the example if the person is disabled or the woman is pregnant okay so president of india can give the respite to that person reprieve reprieve means stay on execution for temporary period so you need to remember here reprieve means temporary period okay stay on execution for temporary period that is reprieve now financial powers president of india vested some fan, vested with some financial powers money bill can be introduced with his prior recommendation no demand for grant except on his recommendation in other words no demand for grant without his recommendation the next he present the annual financial statement he means here 
His representatives present the annual financial statement, union budget, before the parliament. He withdraw advance out of the contingency fund of India to meet the unforeseen, unexpected expenditure. He constitute the finance commission after every five year to recommend the distribution of the revenue between the center and state. There should not be the, any conflict arise between this center and state. That's why he constitutes the finance commissions after every five year to recommend the distribution of the revenue between the center and state. Judicial powers. He appoints the chief justice of India as well as other judges of the Supreme Court and High Courts. He seek the advice from the Supreme Court on the question of law or fact. But this advice is not binding on the President under Article 143. He has vested with some diplomatic powers. International treaties and agreements are negotiated and concluded on behalf of the President of India. Okay. So international treaties and agreement on the behalf of the President of India can be negotiated and concluded. Send and receive the diplomats like Ambassador, High Commissioner and so on. He vested with some military powers as well. He is a Supreme Commander of Defence Forces in India. He appoints Chief of Army, Chief of Navy, Chief of Air Force, Emergency Powers of the President of India. He can proclaim emergency in three conditions, but it needed the cabinet advice to do that. National emergency under Article 352 under these three conditions. It can be war, it can be aggression, external aggression, it can be armed rebellion. Constitutional emergency can be proclaimed under Article 356 when there is a failure of the constitutional machinery of the state. It means that there can be imposed the precedent rule under Article 356. Important under Article 356 precedent rule. Financial emergency can be proclaimed under Article 360 arising out threat to financial stability or credit of India. Then emergency declaration in India. When there was emergency in India. In 1962, when there was a Chinese aggression, the emergency declared in India. In 1972, Indo-Pakistan war. At that time, the emergency in 1972 declared in India. 1975, there was internal disturbance. At that time also, the emergency declared in India. Now veto power of the President of India. Three veto powers has given to the President of India. Absolute veto that is upholding the assent. Okay. Next, suspensive veto sending back the bill which can be overridden by the legislature by ordinary majority. What ordinary majority is important here? Suspensive veto, ordinary majority. Absolute veto upholding the assent of the bill and pocket veto there is no action on the bill. No action on the bill. Okay. Then next our president of India has no qualified veto. What is the qualified veto? When the president of India send back the bill any house of the parliament, then then can be that can be overridden by the legislature by higher majority. Okay, that is qualified veto. But we have suspensive veto, that is ordinary majority. Now there are some questions for you guys. If the financial credit of the government of India is threatened, what the president of India do? Reduce the finance commission members impose the president rule, proclaim the financial emergency, 
or direct the parliament to pass the special finance bill it is the proclaim he can proclaim the financial emergency so this is the right answer c okay the next the power of the president of india to issue an ordinance is power to issue the ordinance it is the legislative power of the president of india if you are not able to remember you can just go through my video again and you will see there okay match the following commutation commutation reprieve remission respite commutation that is the reduction in the punishment with changing its nature remission reduction in punishment without changing its nature that is remission okay then despite i already told respite respite means that a lesser punishment in place of originally given and reprieve that is stay of the execution for temporary period a that is 4 then b that is 2 c that is 1 and d that is 3 42nd amendment 1976 obliged the president to act accordance with the advice of the council of ministers in which article this amendment is made it is article 74 important one the next match the following pardoning power of the president article 72 appointment of the prime minister of india article 75 then uh, executive power article 53 and appointment of agi article 76 so a b c d 1 2 3 4 that's very easy okay so thanks for watching this video if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.